I'm, I'm generally in concert with the fair tax, but, but my job is to elect Republicans. I, I'm not going to dictate policy from Raleigh. Uh, do we need tax reform in this country? Absolutely. Do we need a lot lower taxation burden? Absolutely. As mayor of Raleigh, I cut taxes four times in six years as mayor. That ought to give you some idea about my antipathy uh, for, for taxation. Uh, but our, our, our tax policy is completely counterproductive. Um, the whole, I, I think the IRS needs to be abolished. Here's my idea of tax reform. No withholding. And everybody in America pays taxes. We don't, nobody gets a free ride. You don't understand how this all works unless you're contributing. So even if it's $100 a year, everybody pays taxes and everybody writes a check. Because so many people in America, you know, they just look at their, at their pay stub and say, well, this is what I get paid. They don't see the money going out. And if they had to write a check every quarter to the federal government, we'd have a tax revolt in this country that would turn the world upside down. So I'm, I'm for doing away with withholding and let everybody Poor, rich, and in between, write their tax check to Uncle Sam every quarter, and then we'll see how people feel about taxes and how whether they want this huge government or not. Analogy: McDonald's is headquartered in Oakbrook, Oakbrook, Illinois, but they don't sell any ha hamburgers in Oakbrook, Illinois. The hamburgers are sold in the franchises, and the sole reason for that headquarters to exist is to support franchises and make them successful. Well, the Republican Party is headquartered in Raleigh, but it has a hundred franchises every county. And, and the sole reason for that entity to exist is to, is to support and encourage and empower and to make sure those counties are successful. Uh, and this is where the resources need to get allocated. This is where the manpower is. This is where elections are won and lost. And there needs to be a whole attitude of customer service in the state headquarters to, to facilitate that. And as I've said, the, the headquarters is in Raleigh, but my office is going to be in my car. Because you don't know what counties need unless you're out there in the counties working with the county leadership, working with Brian to figure out what do you need, what can we deliver, what's the most important thing in Chatham County, because it's going to be different in Lee and, and other places. So that's my commitment. Um, Raleigh's not a place to sit up there in a big leather chair and dictate to people and, you know, stay in Wake County. The job is out in the field. I just wondered why Fred Smith has endorsed you. We both went to Wake Forest. We both played football there. We were both in the same fraternity. I think that's why he's important. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> that's what they'll say. Fred and I are old friends. Um, we go back a long way together. And uh, Fred and I share uh, the same faith and belief in our conservative principles. And we believe that this party's got to be built from the bottom up. Everybody says that. That's, but Fred's proof that that's a nice cliche. But this is what I mean. Uh, we just can't wait, you know, for another Ronald Reagan. So somebody mentioned Ronald Reagan for another Ronald Reagan to come on. We have to build this party locally. Um, and politics is like anything else. We, we overcomplicate this, but, but it doesn't work without relationships. And ultimately, people make a decision about how they're going to vote based on does this person or does this party care about them. And the only way to effectively demonstrate that is at the local level by getting on somebody's front porch and talking to them about your candidacy or your party. Or confronting them in church or the barbershop or the beauty salon or the dry cleaner or wherever you encounter them. Because you can't share your ideology unless you have a relationship first. They won't listen. And so we have to build this party and build this movement through relationships at the local level. And I guarantee you that if in 09 and 010 we elect school board candidates and mayors and city councilors and county commission candidates and clerks of courts and register of deeds and house members and state senate members, Richard Burr will get reelected because we have turned out Republicans all over the state at the local level. And I'm telling you, it's easier to turn out people for local offices because that's the, the level of government that most directly impacts their lives. What Congress does or does not do, you may not even know about, may not even be aware of. And it will impact you, but it takes a while to get to you. But if the pothole doesn't get patched and the policeman doesn't show up and the water doesn't come out clear, you know, that, that, that impacts your quality of life. And we as Republicans need to win and hold local offices because that's how you win people to your cause. Right. Well, that's the first time I've ever heard anybody from the state party say that, or from that level. So that's really Well, exciting. I mean, local government was my thing. I was a mayor. 
You know, I think being a mayor is the best job in politics because, you know, you don't have to wait for 320 people to agree with you to get something done. You just find a problem and go fix it. Uh, that's what I like. Um, my father was a football coach, and he had a very simple approach to coaching football. He said, you see that guy in front of you? Knock him down. And once you've knocked him down, go find somebody else wearing the same color jersey and knock him down. And if more of us knock them down than them knock us down, we win the game. So my, my um, instructions to Republicans at the local level is go find a liberal and knock him down. Oh, I like that. <laughs> didn't mean that physically. <laughs> Virginia's ready to go. The sheriff, the sheriff might have a problem with that, but I mean with the power of our ideas and our personality and our persuasion, knock the liberals down. So you realize that's the one quote that will somehow work its way into the newspaper. That's it. <laughs> you know, we need to be a party of great ideas again. Uh, Ronald Reagan had a great idea about ending the coal. Jack Kemp had a great idea about restoring the American economy by supply side economics and cutting taxes and getting more money in the economy. Both those ideas worked and they changed the world. And that's why people became Republicans because they saw us changing the world. And so we have to focus our energies not on talking about each other but about talking about great ideas. And that's the kind of party we need to become again. A party of great, bold, assertive ideas. And it's not just enough to talk those ideas. When we get a chance to govern we actually have to put those ideas into practice. Let's see.